morning students how are you students today we will do our chapter number 7 measurements new topic okay students that is capacity today we will learn about capacity very well so let's start look dear students i am having different shaped utensils i have filled water in the jug and bottle now i will fill water in this mug yes now i will fill water in the cup now the bowl now see carefully dear students the water has taken the shape of utensil water has no shape of its own water has no shape it will take the shape of the utensil in which it has been poured now the other thing yes dear students tell me which utensil is having the least capacity and which one is having the highest capacity tell me dear students yes the cup is having the least capacity and which one is having the highest capacity yes this jug is having the highest capacity got it dear students now we will observe the capacity of this bottle i will fill it with water having water in glasses now i am pouring one glass of water in the bottle but it has not filled yet i will pour another one yes the second glass of water but it is unfilled yet yes the third one see dear students now it has been filled fully we need three glasses of water to fill this bottle so the capacity of one bottle is equal to three glasses of water we have observed the capacity of this bottle dear students it has capacity of 3 glasses of water now we will observe the capacity of this jug count with me dear students yes first glass of water i am pouring a glass of water into the jug yes now the second one yes it has not been filled yet now i will pour the third glass of water into the jug three glasses of water i have poured now the fourth one yes now fifth one i have poured five glasses of water but it has not been filled yet now the six glasses of water look dear student it has been fully filled now it means this jug has six glasses of water its capacity six glasses of water now see students tell me one more thing which one is having more capacity the bottle or jug yes this jug this jug is having more capacity than the bottle got it dear students yes now we will check the capacity of this bottle also yes i am pouring one glass of water it is not filled yet now the second glass of water it has not been filled yet now the third glass of water see dear students now it is fully filled it means this bottle is also having the same capacity means three glasses of water it means the two bottles is having the capacity of 
6 glasses of water. 2 bottles equal to 6 glasses of water. Now students, we will observe the capacity of third bottle. It will also take 3 glasses of water to be filled fully. Look dear students, observe carefully. Now it means that the 3 bottles will be equal to 9 glasses of water. Now we will check the fourth bottle's capacity. It will also take 3 glasses of water. So it means the capacity of 4 bottles will be equal to 12 glasses of water. Now we will observe the fifth bottle. It will also take 3 glasses of water. Now dear students, we can say the capacity of these 5 bottles will be equal to 15 glasses of water. Yes dear students, 5 bottles will be equal to 15 glasses of water. Now it's time for your homework dear students. We have done this activity. You will do the same at your home by collecting the different shaped utensils and you will check its capacity. Observe carefully dear students. And we have done this page number 146 of your maths. Do the same dear students.